Hello everyone, uh, I'm back this time uh, for a question from chapter, uh, from section 15.1, which asks to evaluate the iterated integral given there. So just a quick uh, recall, if you have iterated integral, you start with the inner integral, integrate it, the result would be a function of outer variable, in this case it would be a function of x, then integrate with respect to the outer uh, in, uh, variable. So in this case, I have 1 to 3. The inner integral is 1 to 5 ln y, x, y, dy, and then dx. So we have to integrate this guy with respect to y. So let's just separate, do it separately here. So ln y, I'm going to put uh, x here, 1 over y, dy. Uh, the reason I separated it uh, is because I'm going to use a change of variable. This is one integral with one variable. You take x as constant and just go ahead from there. So I can do this by substitution. Set u to be ln y, then du is going to be 1 over y dy. I have 1 over y dy there, so this is du. And this is u over x. And if y is 1, then u, which is ln 1, is 0. If y is uh, 5, then u is going to be ln 5. So my, in the new integral, uh, I'll go from 0 to ln 5. OK, x is constant again. Just go from there. I have <coughs> u multiplied by a constant, which is 1 over x. Then the antiderivative of that is u score over 2. Constant is always there, so I just put there. And then the result is 1, 5 squared over 2 times x minus 0. So my inner integrals is equal to ln 5 over 2 times x, ln 5 squared over 2 times x dx. As I mentioned at the beginning, when you integrate with respect to inner variable, the result is going to be a function of outer variable, which is x in this case, then you just go from there. ln 5 squared over 2 is constant, I take that out, I go from 1 to 3, 1 over x dx. Okay, then antiderivative of 1 over x is ln x, so I write down the constants, uh, antiderivative is ln x, go from 1 to 3. So from 1 to 3 is ln 5 over 2, this is the square, plug in the upper one, ln 3 minus ln 1, which is, this guy is 0, you can set that 0, and that's the result. Again, iterated integral, you start from the inner integral, integrate it, the result would be a function of the outer variable, then integrate with respect to outer one. Thank you for watching this video.